everyone, it's Jacqueline for Pixie Dust PhD. When you're deciding to buy Disney Vacation Club, there are two primary ways you can buy this, direct through Disney or on the resale market. Today we're going to go over some of the differences between the two methods. At the end of the day, either buying DVC, direct or resale, principally gets you the same thing. You'll have a contract with an amount of annual points at your home resort. For both methods, the rate of price per point for your annual dues is the same, so that's not a consideration when comparing direct to resale. Additionally, at any given time, the inventory when you're buying direct through Disney varies. They may not have the home resort or the use year that you desire. You can be put on a wait list direct through Disney to get your desired home resort and or use year. However, just generally speaking, there tends to be much larger inventory available sooner through the resale market. But when you buy resale, there are restrictions that Disney imposes. One of the main ones is that you are not an official DVC member. Now this only became true recently, so if you previously bought a resale contract, you don't need to worry. But if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're thinking about buying a contract in the future, so this does apply to you. When you're a DVC member, you get a physical membership card, and it allows you access to several things that are restricted to DVC members only. Now perks, of course, are subject to change, but in recent years there have been exclusive park events such as Moonlight Magic, you get access to the DVC member cruise on Disney Cruise Line. There are exclusive DVC member discounts on things like shopping, dining, merchandise, and occasionally you'll see reduced rates for Disney resorts. Also, there are often discounts on hard ticket events such as Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party and other similar events. Plus, there are sometimes discounts on behind-the-scenes tours, and with that membership card, you get access to DVC lounges. Now, if we circle back to cost, when you buy direct through Disney, there is a point minimum in order for you to be considered a DVC member and get that physical membership card. Currently, that is 100 points. So when you look at a 100 point contract at Bay Lake Tower, if you buy direct through Disney, that is currently priced at $225 per point. So you're talking over $22,000 just for your initial purchase price. If you look on the resale market, Bay Lake Tower contracts are typically going for $145 to $155 per point. That's a saving of $70 per point or seven grand. That's not an inconsequential number, and that's certainly something to consider when comparing buying direct versus resale. As of early 2019, there are also restrictions on resale contracts on where you can stay. If you buy a resale contract at one of the 14 original DVC resorts, which at this point is most of them, you can only stay at those 14 resorts. So this excludes the new Riviera Resort, the upcoming Reflections Resort, and any other newly made resorts. On the flip side, if you buy direct from Disney, these don't apply to you. But note, at the Riviera, at least for now, there are terms on that contract too. When you bought directly through Disney at Riviera Resort, there are no limits on where you can stay. But if you decide to sell your contract on the resale market, the resale buyer will only be allowed to stay at Riviera. So that may devalue your contract slightly more than we've seen in DVC past. And while limits to the original 14 classic DVC resorts may sound bad, Honestly, those are some great resorts. You've got Animal Kingdom Villas in there, you've got Beach Club Villas, Bay Lake Tower, Alani in Hawaii. Go ahead and take a look at the list. Anything built before Riviera will be eligible for you to stay at. Another point to consider regarding member benefits is that a lot of those member benefits are available through other avenues. For example, if you're an annual pass holder, many of the benefits overlap. Annual pass holders also get discounts on dining, shopping, merchandise, Throughout the year, they get offers for discounts on Disney resorts. There are sometimes discounts for hard ticket events and the like. So you will lose out on some DVC specific things such as Moonlight Magic and the DVC member cruise, but many of the member benefits in terms of discounts may be available to you through other avenues. In my opinion, being a DVC member officially through Disney guarantees you all of the DVC magic in the world. However, note that these extras are subject to change at any time. So it's really up to you if these extras sway your opinion on if it's worth the initial price being much more expensive than buying on the resale market. If you own DVC, let us know in the comments down below if you bought direct or resale, and if you're happy with that decision, or if in retrospect you wish you would have done it the other way around. Thank you so much for watching, and if you found this helpful, I hope you liked the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell icon for notifications when new videos are posted. See you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.